Many parts of the planet and galaxy have yet to be discovered, many ecosystems still developing, and many mysteries are still to be answered. We're always learning new things and developing better tools so that we can learn more about the planet and the universe beyond it. All across the world, scientists, philosophers, and explorers are probing the depths of the universe seeking insights into the most perplexing mysteries of existence. They won't give up until all the mysteries of the universe and Earth have been uncovered. Today, we look at what Egyptian scientists discovered when searching for Cleopatra. One of the numerous amazing new finds in Egypt is the pyramid of a previously unknown ancient Egyptian queen. Everyone's attention was drawn to the United Nations Climate Change Conference a few weeks ago, but this is far from the only important news out of Egypt. There have recently been some intriguing archaeological finds dating back thousands of years and covered there, from enigmatic pyramids to astonishing tunnels. Greetings everyone! We hope you liked today's video, in which we'll talk about what miracle did the researchers find while searching for Cleopatra. But before we dive into that, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Archaeologists have long been fascinated by ancient Egypt's mysteries, from the magnificent pyramids to the obscure graves of pharaohs and nobles. They have recently uncovered a new wonder, a faultless geometric design on the ceiling of an ancient mausoleum that formerly housed Cleopatra's burial. Numerous excavations have been performed at the site since then, but no one had identified the stunning geometric pattern on the ceiling until recently. The geometric design on Cleopatra's tomb ceiling is a work of art in ancient geometry. This design was most likely made particularly for this place and no one else. This discovery gives new information on Cleopatra's historical position as well as her ties to ancient Egyptian mathematics and art. It's almost as if she knew she was going to be famous and wanted to leave her mark on the world in the form of a giant geometric problem. Archaeologists have uncovered a rock-cut tunnel beneath the ancient Egyptian temple of Tapuziris Magna, which may lead to Cleopatra's lost tomb. Cleopatra was the final Ptolemaic Egyptian pharaoh from 51 to 30 BC. Cleopatra famously committed herself after her husband, Roman general Mark Antony, committed suicide as well. They're thought to have been buried together. No, Cleopatra's tomb has not been found but archaeologists are close to finding it. Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities reported the discovery just weeks ago, calling it a geometrical miracle and describing the 1 kilometer and 300 meters long tunnel which is lying 13 meters beneath. It is similar to the Eupolinos Tunnel on the Greek island of Samos, which is regarded as one of antiquity's engineering marvels. Kathleen Martinez, an archaeologist at the University of Santo Domingo, has been hunting for Cleopatra's missing tomb for nearly 20 years and is confident that Tupperseries Magna, located on the outskirts of Alexandria and dedicated to Osiris, the god of the dead, is the top possibility. Martinez was able to arrange a meeting in Cairo with archaeologist Zahi Hawass, Egypt's minister of antiquities at the time. She persuades him to let her excavate the location for two months. Since 2004, this has been the way the work has been done. She now believes she has achieved a significant breakthrough. The latest discovery is the most conclusive proof yet that Martinez is on the right route. She and her colleagues discover a 1,305 meter long tunnel 13 meters beneath. The excavations revealed a huge religious center with three sanctuaries, a sacred lake, more than 1,500 objects, bust statues, gold figures, a huge collection of coins depicting Alexander the Great, Queen Cleopatra, and the Ptolemies, Martinez told CNN. The most interesting discovery is the complex of tunnels leading to the Mediterranean Sea and the sunken structures, she adds. The Taposiris Magna Tunnel is partially buried in water, and its exact purpose is unknown. The investigation of these underwater buildings will be the next step in the quest for the Egyptian Queen's Lost Tomb, which began in 2004. Some people may consider my persistence an obsession. I admire Cleopatra as a historical figure. She was a victim of Roman propaganda aimed at distorting her image, says Martinez. Cleopatra was an educated woman probably the first to study formally at the museum in Alexandria, a center of culture in her day, Charis Martinez. When her husband, Roman General Mark Antony, died in her arms in 30 BC, Cleopatra committed suicide by allowing an asp to sting her. The moment has been immortalized in art and literature, yet their whereabouts is still unknown more than two millennia later. Martinez suspected that Cleopatra's burial was in the Temple of Osiris in the ruined city of Tapasiris Magna, on Egypt's northern coast where the Nile River spills into the Mediterranean Sea. According to the archaeologists, the major medium is the name itself. According to Martinez, 
Cleopatra was regarded as the human manifestation of the goddess Isis during her time, whereas Antony was considered the incarnation of the goddess Cyrus, Isis' husband. Martinez believes Cleopatra opted to bury her husband in the temple to mirror this narrative. Martinez claims that no other location, structure, or temple in Alexandria that she has researched combines as many conditions as the Temple of Teposiris Magna. Excavations have so far unearthed corpses with golden tongues and a cemetery holding Greco-Roman mummies buried facing the temple, corroborating the hypothesis that a royal tomb was built in the area. A bust of Cleopatra and 22 coins bearing her image were also discovered. In addition to the tunnel, the recent discovery features two Ptolemaic-era alabaster statues, one of which appears to be a sphinx as well as ceramic dishes and pots. The underwater section of the tunnel is assumed to be the product of ancient earthquakes that struck the region between 320 and 1303 BC. These natural disasters may have contributed to Tampasiris Magnus' demise. So far, excavations have revealed that the temple was dedicated to Isis, which Martinez believes is another indication that the lost tomb lies close as well as passageways beneath the sea. Martinez now claims to be at the beginning of a new journey with the upcoming underwater explorations. Archaeologists uncover the pyramid of a previously unknown ancient Egyptian queen, which contained coffins, mummies, treasures, and a network of underground passageways. The crew discovers her name is Nate, and she's not listed in the historical documents we have so far, according to Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, Egypt's former Minister of State for Antiquities. As a result, the team has a lot of work ahead of it to understand more about its management and history. It is amazing to rewrite what we know about the history of ancient Egypt by adding a new queen to her records, says Havas. Archaeologists are working at Saqqara, a site some 20 miles south of Cairo. The recently found coffins and mummies are most likely those of King Tutankhamun's closest advisors and generals. The young pharaoh ruled from roughly 1,333 BC until he died in 1323 BC, and the discovery of his entire pyramid in 1922 created international news. During the digs, the team also looked at a nearby pyramid that belonged to Teti, the first pharaoh of Egypt's sixth dynasty. Teti was revered as a god in the New Kingdom, and everyone wanted to be buried with him, Hawass told NBC News. Nearly 300 well-preserved coffins were found near his pyramid. Hawass says most of this area's burials are from the Old Kingdom or Late Period. The Egyptian Empire or the New Kingdom existed from the 11th to the 6th centuries BC. Returning to the discovery, F shares, until now, no other New Kingdom burials were known to occur in this area, so what we find now is a unique discovery for the site. The Book of the Dead decorated coffins has unique faces that identify male from female. Each casket has the deceased name and the four sons of Horus who guard the organs. Saqqara finds continues 100 years later. How is claimed that the latest discovery would be Egypt's most significant next year? Egypt's oldest tomb faces winter solstice. The Spanish University of Malaga and the University of Chan discovered Egypt's oldest tomb, which faces the winter solstice dawn a few days ago. This is one of the area's exceptional graves. The tomb's entrance faces the sunrise, and on the shortest day of the year, the sun's rays cover the spot where a statue of Elephantine's governor, who lived approximately 1830 BC, should be. The tomb is in the Kubet el Hawa necropolis on the Nile River, 500 kilometers south of Cairo. The Egyptian architect employed a 3-meter pole, a square, and numerous slaves to determine the chapel's and statue's orientation to the sun, according to a paper published in Mediterranean Archaeology and Archaeometry. The tomb tracked the complete solar cycle of rebirth and rejuvenation using these readings. Egyptian valued the winter solstice. The summer solstice marked the start of the Nile River's annual flooding and the sun's victory over darkness. Both incidents symbolically resurrected the governor. Governor Hekab Ankh likely erected his mausoleum, number 33. It was excavated from 2008 to 2018. Dialux Evo software reproduced the sun's position during its construction, about 1830 BC. This study indicates that the Egyptians calculated the sun's position and beam orientation to create their monuments. The tomb is also the oldest private burial project in which precise alignment between the solstices was achieved, suggesting the presence of persons with extremely complex theological and technical expertise even in provincial courts such as Elephantine. Although tomb number 33 from Kubet el Hawa is the earliest example ever uncovered, it is certainly not the only one, the scientists added. Ancient Egypt was a truly amazing civilization 
and their discoveries were mind-blowing. All we can say is, to toot, what a discovery! Let us know what you think about these discoveries in ancient Egypt. Did you find the subject and video interesting? Subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends.